attend this seminar. I have no question for you, but sir, I would like to hear uh, more about the phase four, a bit community-based rehabilitation, and sir, how to convince the patient uh, to go for community-based rehabilitation and uh, patient counseling, sir. So that uh, that is, I think, the uh, important aspect where uh, we need to convince the patient to go for the phase three and phase four because. Uh, the main purpose is, purpose is rehabilitation. But sir, if we focus on patient's education and exercise prescription, uh, the, uh, if we tell the patient about the uh, 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 why it is important, so, uh, if you can. Yes, definitely. See, patient counseling, education, and to make them do the exercise regularly at home for such a chronic uh, yes, condition is very difficult. In uh, this hospital, yeah, in this hospital where I am working once in a month since last several years, so many patients are coming from all the parts of the Gujarat, some comes from the outside India as well. But it takes a lot of effort and time we have to spend with the patient, identify their problems, what is their expectation from our side and small, small modification. I, I have not found out that we have to do something major or the miracles for the patient, small, small changes. Once uh, in few of our patients, when we came to know that they are suffering from osteoporosis, they are taking XYZ medicine and we have evidence now that uh, sunlight can be taken at this particular time, okay, all the articles are available, we just advise you, just go with it, let the patient to feel it. So slowly, slowly, one by one, small, small changes, we have advised you have to carry with you the laddu which is made up of sesame and jaggery. So patient initially resisted, but then we say that it is good for you and the dietitian and myself we have explained. They have started carrying it. I told that you have to always yes. carry incentive spirometer with you and Apple at least you have to do three times per day. So initially they do, they may not do, but once they will see the benefits and effects of our treatment, then slowly they will adapt. And afterwards they make it like a habit. Exercise, it will take a time. But if we are continuously, you know, motivating, encouraging, teaching, guiding, sometimes we have to scold also, all the way we go, then it will become a habit. And once it is a habit, then there is no problem with our approaches or the treatment. In hospital setup, it is a responsibility of the cardiac hospitals to provide the phase 4 rehab. Because if you are not providing the phase 4 rehab, your uh, entire cardiac rehabilitation program cannot be called it as a successful program. Few of the hospitals in South, okay, Narayan Dadela hospitals in Bangalore, I was working there for a few months. So they, they have slowly started this concept of the phase 4 rehabilitation. Because they also find the difficulty that young physios, they don't have a compassion to go into the uh, rural and the tribal area or the, you know, interior area from where the patients are coming. Very difficult actually, but uh, slowly it is coming up and uh, we are working in the peripheral areas as well. Very difficult actually, but with a good effort it may come and I say physician level also the awareness is this. I went initially with Modi sir and myself also I have went many a place. I have prepared all the techniques in a paper, a 4 size paper with the different color and different any, uh, you know text and then I have made a spiral bite. I used to go and explain all the physicians that I am cardiopulmonary physiotherapist, these are the techniques, I am aware of it. Any patient you can let us know, I will show what I know like that. Like an MR, medical representative also in initial days, I have explained to all the physicians in that. It's a long process. It will take a time. Thank you, sir. I am very much inspired. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.